Big Money Bound TV, RRT Posse YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I release scheduled videos every Monday, 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. But I also release some unscheduled videos throughout the week. Now, if you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you. Last night. I worked my per diem job as a respiratory therapist. It was a Friday. I don't normally work on Fridays at my per diem job. I never work Fridays at my per diem job. But, you know, holidays is coming. I'm getting motivated, thinking about getting that fatty, getting them riches, you know, just like making money, man. I chose the wrong day to get motivated and try to make some money, dog. First things first, man. I haven't, um, like, the way I prepare myself for work at my per diem job isn't the same way I have to prepare myself for work at my full-time job. At my full-time job, I'm going in there with nothing on but an undershirt and going to get scrubs. But at my per diem job, you got to wear your full uniform. But... I treated my part. I treated my per diem job like I was going to my full time job. I I come with with nothing on but a shirt. Just this, just these here. I'm like, dang. I'm leaving home. I'm like, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't know. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but maybe I'm tripping. I got like three minutes from work. I'm like, damn. I forgot my uniform top. I can't. I can't turn back around and go home now because my home is too far from my job. So I'm like, I can't turn back around. I ain't gonna have Jody Joe. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna ask Jody Joe to bring it because I don't want my girl driving that far distance at night time. So I ain't gonna do that. Hey dog, I'm here. I ain't got no uniform top. Y'all gonna send me home or not? You feel me? Because if I go home, I ain't coming back. So what y'all wanna do? I walk into work. We short style. So regardless of all of it, regardless of any of that, they need me. So I'm like, hey, I need I need um, a surgical top. They're like, we can get you a surgical top, no problem, man. So I'm wearing a neon green surgical top, navy blue pants, pink socks, and a black undershirt. Boy, I tell you, dog. Say what you want to say about me, though. I'm going to get this money, though. You, yep, yep. You ain't matching, you nigga. You, you got on pink something. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the clock, too. I got some money going to my bank account, too, right now as we speak. So what else you talking about? <laughs> so I walk into the department. I see they got laid out. Everybody named, signed out. Like, they didn't receive a lunch break for night shift. I'm like, I didn't get a lunch break? I just got in here. I just clocked in. I'm like, damn, it's going to be that bad? I ain't going to be able to eat? That's what they said? Bro. I don't know what's going on. I guess like coronavirus pandemic got, got people scared and a lot of people just like they need people bad at both at this hospital, my hospital, well my per diem job, my full time job, and another hospital. They need people bad. Like I'm being pulled from like four different directions saying work here, work here, work here, work here. I mean these people beating down my door. It was a time where I couldn't get a job interview. Now these people just throwing jobs at me, just throwing them at me. But I'm like, bro, for me to move on a job, like, to go to a new job, have to learn a new system, have to learn how to work with the staff, have to learn, like, what I can get, get away with, what I can't get away with, how to maneuver, maneuver through the hospital. For me to have to do all this stuff, it will start from zero. It got to be worth my while, also. And what I feel like I'm worth, what I feel like I deserve, I don't feel like nobody gonna give me that, dog. And if they do give me that, I'm gonna feel like I deserve more. So I'm trying to just like stay put, man, remain ambitious, and find a way for my money to make money, dog. Because I ain't finna keep two dollars over here, two fifty over here. I, I ain't chasing dollars. I'm thinking bigger. But yeah, right now, hey, you in Florida, South Florida? You graduate, bro. 
Jobs is available, man. Hurry up. Fill out your resume. Get everything ready, dog. But I seen I was covering, like, the trauma unit. I was a trauma respiratory therapist. And I was covering the floor, the floor of ventilators. Also was covering vents on the floor. Damn. This could be a crazy night. So, I got trauma. It's certain equipment that you have to use in a trauma unit in a trauma base. I haven't been here in a while. Haven't worked trauma in a while. So I'm like, hey man, let me go down here and get a get a feel for this equipment right now. Just remember how I use it. Why ain't nothing crazy going on? So when something does come in, I know what's going on. So I'm over there, I'm over there. I go see the vent. I'm hitting buttons. Bam, bam, bam. I think I'm doing it right. Bam, bam. All right, everything seems like it's going good. Hopefully they don't call no traumas. Shit. Man, 8 o'clock, 8.30. Trauma. Trauma alert. One by ground. 15 minutes. Oh, man. I go down and I put on my gown. I mean, I go down there. I put on my, um, what is that? My lead vest. I put on a whole lead body vest. Covering up your neck. Covering up, you know, covering up your, your, your family jewels. Then you gotta wait for the patient to come in. Luckily, it was nothing serious. The patient didn't, didn't needs to be intubated. intubated. All right, cool. Ten o'clock come. Trauma alert. This is real deal serious. Patient gotta be intubated. Now, I'm used to working one way, but I'm over here, so I gotta work their way. I'm used to getting the tube, the ET blade. The 10cc syringe and handing that to the doc. The doc already got everything. All right, that's kind of different. So they transport, they transferring the patient over to the bed. Paramedics say, "All right, I got an ambu bag. Y'all can use our ambu bag." Now we'll use our, we we'll, we we'll use ours. That's what the doctor said. Instead of using y'all ambu bag, I'm going to use our ambu bag that's not even ready, not even set up. Hey, bro, I'm like, no, let's just, bro, it's an ambu bag. Let's just use that. Oh, no, no, I want to use ours. All right. And um, get a COVID filter. COVID filter? I ain't been here for, I don't know why I'm in trauma, bro. I ain't been here in a while. What the hell is a COVID filter? But I'm saying, I'm like, bro, I don't, y'all don't know what I said. Oh, here it is. This lady picked up a regular filter. Bro, that's a regular filter. That ain't no COVID filter, now. So don't think you get. Me. Hey, man, this is the trauma situation, bro. This lady making me laugh. So they intubate. Now I'm thinking, y'all got everything, but I look, I see they don't even have the entitled CO two to make sure the tube is in the right place. But yeah, that's why I don't like people just grabbing stuff. I think you got what you need, and you already have everything that you need. But this is how y'all work over here, so I got to let y'all work. Like, it's a doctor, then it's like a resident, then it's a, another physician, a trauma physician. It's three doctors over there. So everybody's trying to help everybody. I'm kind of like in the way. So hey, I just, you know, hey, bro, this this ain't how I prefer to work, but if this is how y'all work, hey, handle your business, dog. I, I sit back up here if you need me. I'll make sure everything going good, okay, okay. You don't got the inside of CO two. Here you go. I knew you was gonna need that. And they found out the tube was in the right place. Okay, cool. I, I just had to secure the ET tube. That's no problem. I can do this with my eyes closed. That's no problem. But I was thinking. So I'm securing the ET tube now. Then we got Herbert go to CT. We got Herbert go to CT and go to CAT scan. So I'm securing the ET tube. Then I gotta hurry up and go to secure the ET tube. To get ready to go to CAT scan. Now, the doctor's still bagging. I go grab that portable ventilator that I was kind of messing with, trying to get familiar with. It's time to turn it on. Beep. Something ain't working right. Damn. <laughs> I'm in a trauma situation, bro. Something ain't working. I'm like, damn. I know I did this. <sighs> bro, it's not working, bro. Like, damn, what is it again? So I call back up. Now, why this going on? It's no real like panic or anything because we got the we got an airway. 
and we got ventilation. Ambu bag is ventilation. As long as we got that, bro, we don't we can go hours without a vent. As long as we got somebody doing this here. So it ain't no big like, oh uh. but I just wanna call somebody for help. Like, hey man, I'm down here, the portable vent ain't working. Can you send me a new one? Just have somebody bring me a new one. It's like, oh, it's doing that again? She's doing that again? How long has it been doing that? Hey, I ain't trying to be funny, bro, but how long has it been doing this? You feel me? So, I mean, I have somebody to bring one. Okay, cool, cool. I'm like, man, I know I fixed this. I'm like, oh, you got to hit, bro. You got to start it up and hit reset for it to kick in, like, go for real. So I do that. It's perfect now. So I go with about a doctor. Tell us you don't got to ventilate no more. Hook up all the ventilation stuff for the portable vent. Hook it up. Put all that in line. And now we good. Now we going to CT. As we on our way to CT, I'm thinking like, damn. I'm in here just part of the, the trauma unit. The trauma unit team. That's what I'm a, I'm a part of the trauma unit team. That's what I'm part of. I just came from Thanksgiving eating turkey. Just vibing and relaxing. Now I'm part of the trauma unit team. Damn. Then I would have thank him. Man, you get more money for being like a ICU nurse. Then you get more money for being a trauma unit nurse. But yet, I'm a trauma unit respiratory therapist. I don't get an increase in pay, though. That just made me wonder, like, bro. I'm just like... That's why if you follow me on IG, though, like I say, when I be feeling how I feel, like I type how I feel, I was like, no matter how much I get, no matter how much, what I said, no matter how much I get, I'll still feel underpaid. But instead of going to find a new, damn, I forgot what I said, dog. It was, it was slick. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Can I think what I said, man? There you go. No matter how much they give me, I still feel underpaid. Instead of going to find a job somewhere else, I'll find a way to pay myself. You feel me? Like, I just remain ambitious, man. Take this money and do something with it. Because all this, you want to pay for $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2,